Welcome to Mac and PC Prime video. Today we're going to look at how you can connect from an Apple iMac to another Windows PC. This is perfect if you want to access one of your devices from a remote location, or maybe you want to help any person with a computer problem. We've all been there. Once you connect to your device, you have full control. You can use the mouse and keyboard. You can listen to the audio. You can even upload and download files from that device. Best of all, this is completely free. And it's a tool made by Google called Chrome Remote Desktop. Let's check out how this works. To get started, head to the following website on the computer that you would like to connect to. You can click on the link in the top right hand corner or the link down below in the description of this video on this website. On the left hand side, make sure that you're in the remote access view and right here. Let's click on the blue download button. This works on any Chromium based browser. It'll work on Google Chrome and also Microsoft Edge. Let's click on download. Once the file finishes downloading, simply click on it to kick off the install. Next, we need to give the computer a name. And here it simply goes with Mac and PC desktop. It sounds reasonable to me. I will click on next. And here you also need to select a pin. You'll enter in this pin when you want to connect to this computer. Then down below, let's click on start. I am now on an Apple iMac. Open Google Chrome and type in Google Chrome Remote Desktop. Let's click on Add Chrome Extensions. Once the file finishes downloading, simply click on it to kick off the install. Step by step. now on an Apple iMac and right up above our head to that same Gmail website address that we went to earlier. Once I land on this page here, I can see the Mac and PC desktop, and to connect to that PC, all I have to do is simply click on it. Next, I need to enter my PIN. I'll type that in. Down below, I can check this box to remember my PIN on this device so I don't have to enter it in again in the future. Over here, I'll click on this blue icon to connect and check that out. I have now connected remotely to my other PC. I can move my mouse around. Over here, I can launch Google Chrome. I type in VLC Media Player Download and install. And that shows up on the remote computer. I have full and complete control over this computer. Over on the right-hand side, if we click on this icon, this exposes all of the different settings. Up on top, you can pin the settings so they stay up all the time. Over here, you can disconnect or end your session. And over here, you could launch into full screen mode. That way, it truly feels immersive, like you are on the other computer. Right down here, you have a few different session options you can scale to fit. You could also resize to fit, and then you have smooth scaling. So a few different options that affect the way the screen looks. Down below, you can also adjust the video codec, and there are three different options. There's VP8 and VP9, also AV1. And AV1 is a newer codec that gives you better quality and also uses less bandwidth, but it is more resource intensive on your computer. You can experiment with those to see which one works better for you down below. You could also choose the frame rate. 
the higher you go, the more bandwidth that it will consume right over here. You could also set whether you want system keys to come through here. For example, you could press Ctrl-Alt-Delete, which launches the task manager. Do you want it to launch on that remote PC, or do you want it to launch on the PC that you're currently on? You could configure that here and down below. You could also adjust various key mappings. One of my favorite features right here. You can also transfer files between your current PC and your remote PC. You could upload a file or send the file to your remote PC, or you can download a file from your remote PC to the PC that you're currently on. And there are a few other settings here as well. Along with being able to connect to your devices, you can also connect to other people's devices, or you can have someone else connect to your device. Back on the Chrome Remote Desktop site, over on the left-hand side, let's click on Remote Support and right up on top. If you would like someone else to connect to your PC, click on this button that says Generate Code and you can provide this code to the other person and they'll be able to connect to your computer. They all come in and right at the bottom here, you can type in that access code and then click on Connect before being able to connect to the person's computer. Who you're connecting to will need to approve the request. One of the great things about Remote Desktop is you can also connect to a PC from a phone or a tablet. Alright. Well, that's how easy it is to remotely access another computer. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video.